Hey guys, it's Ken, AKA Art Guy. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. Uh, before we get started, if you could go ahead and click that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, today, we are going to paint a toilet seat. Wah, wah. Uh, I've been wanting to do one of these for a while. I've seen a bunch of them done. Uh, so this is gonna just be sort of my take on it. Uh, I'm planning on doing a sunset surfer wave design sort of thing. Uh, so we're going to start by obviously covering everywhere we don't want to get paint on um, before we get started. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to speed up the process to, in fact, I'm not even going to show you that process. I'm just going to do it and then we're going to jump back. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, so I have my seat taped up for now as much as I want to tape it up. Uh, so I have this bag that I put over it pulled it down through the back and then taped it up there. Uh, and then I also taped around the inside edge of the lid, hoping that I do not get any, uh, or at least, uh, at least I don't get too much of the, the pore, you know, wrapping around underneath the lid. And I shouldn't because uh, we're doing primarily a Dutch pour uh, for the most part, a Dutch pour wave. Um, so I really shouldn't have too much stuff running around the top of the rim. So I'm going to get the table set up. I wanna put a cloth down and get my colors ready and then we'll get going. All right, so we're back guys. Uh, so I've got all the colors I'm gonna use for the background of my painting. Uh, and then I'm gonna grab the Dutch pour colors in just a minute. But just to give you guys an idea, this is a painting that I completed uh, the other night. <clears throat> and this is, I'm sort of using this as my inspiration. I call this one Surf Into Sunset. So it's really gonna be the same idea, but on the lid of the toilet seat. And then on the underneath part, on the actual seat part, uh, I'm gonna just do another Dutch pour of uh, blues and, and light purples and such to give a water effect on the bottom seat. Okay, and so these are just uh, regular, uh, non-mixed or watered-down paints, no medium or anything. I'm just going straight paint with them. Uh, since it, they don't need to be poured, they don't need to be, you know, thinned out at all. So we are going to do this. Now the bottom portion over here actually is going to be mostly water, like this whole lower half. So, I'm not too worried about covering down here. I do want to cover the sides of the seat, I just don't want to, it running underneath it. And this is very experimental what I'm doing. I, I, you know, I'm just kind of doing what I think it should look like. Normally I'm just pouring the paint and it kind of does what it wants to do a lot of the time. starting to look very sunset-like. 
don't you think? purple into this, just a very little bit. would like to have a little bit more purple uh, showing up in that. So I'm gonna use a different brush that doesn't have all the other paints on it. See if that allows me for a little bit more purple. The only problem with this is the brush is really just small, too small for what I'm trying to do. But I'm trying to bring it down into the red a little bit, make some little deeper colors. Like you see in the sunset sometimes, you see a nice mix of colors. So I'm gonna have to go back with the other brush a little bit and just to smooth it out. So that's all right. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna add some blue. Um, I'm going with a lighter blue than that one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Again, this is a little bit of experimenting. I'm trying to use that other picture that I showed you as some inspiration. So I'm really just doing it the same way I did that one. Not too bad. Then we want to add a little bit more. Try to make that a little bit more symmetrical. Not that a sunset is totally symmetrical, but you know, a little bit. See if I have another decent sized brush. I shouldn't really even worry about this side because that's the side that the wave is going to be on. But okay, 
I'm not unhappy with that. I actually like how that looks. Okay, so I'm gonna get my uh, wave paints together and then we'll come back. Okay guys, so we're back. I've got my paints ready to go for the wave. Give it a little shake. So I've got my nice blue, they have got a sea green. I've got this really kind of aqua turquoise color I like. Nice light blue, a little bit of purple, and the white. So we will see how this comes out. Feeling pretty good about it though. We'll see. Fortunately, I only paid like five bucks for the toilet seat <laughs> in case they screw it up. Very little of this turquoise left though, so. Very little. Like, that's pretty much all I got. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. I'm gonna add some of this sea green. bit of purple a little bit of white and then we're gonna do this light blue and then I'm gonna put some more of the dark blue on and that messed it up but we will fix that Right, and then we're gonna go back with some of the dark blue because I really want to make sure that that is a prominent color in the whole thing. So I think I'm gonna start by doing this as like a bit of a swipe to combine all the colors and then we'll do a bit of a Dutch pour. We'll blow some stuff around just to See what happens. <clears throat> Let me just get my swiping material. Which I seem to have missed, I think. get started. So I'm just going to use a little flexible piece of plastic here. Um, I'm actually not even going to do it on there. I'm going to do it down here. So 
that looks pretty good. And we'll okay, so now, the problem I have is that it's dripping down here, so I'm gonna have to just incorporate that a bit. Like that. Which is okay, it just makes the wave a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I'm gonna blow it around a little bit. Not too bad. Not as exactly as wave like that one. I want to try to maybe get that to a little bit more of a, a looking like a wave at the top. So I'm gonna pull one of these out. First we're gonna round this off a little bit. kind of round this out a bit so it really looks like a wave you know that has a nice curve to it I'm not worried about the bottom because it's it's the ocean you've got ocean with you know ripples it doesn't have to be perfectly straight it's gonna have a surfer on it so you, know, you expect it to be kind of kind of bumpy ish I think that looks pretty nice. So what we gotta do now is we're gonna let this dry overnight. And then when we come back, we will paint on the silhouette of the surfer. And we'll use uh, just some black acrylic paint for that as well. I know some people will use a, a vinyl, like lam laminate thing that they make, but uh, I'll, I'll paint mine on mainly because I don't have the vinyl capability. But so far, so good. So we'll see you in, I guess, tomorrow. Okay, guys, so the good news is uh, the top lid is finished um, as far as the paint. I still have to seal it. The bad news is I woke up in the middle of the night last night, and I totally forgot that I wanted to record the part about the, the embellishment, and I just kind of did it at like 2 o'clock in the morning, forgetting all about it. But this is what it looks like with the embellishment. Here is my stencil that I used. Uh, and then I actually just used paper, paper stencil for the dolphin. 
and my amazing talents were able to paint V's freehand. Uh, so that is what the top looks like. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to seal it and then we're gonna work on the bottom. So be right back. Okay guys, we are back. Uh, so obviously the top of the toilet seat is done and I actually did go ahead and I uh, sprayed it with a, a clear coat. So it is nice and shiny right now. Um, I'm also planning, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm probably gonna cover it with a thin coat of epoxy resin as well. Um, but I wanted to do that so at least it's uh, sealed to the point where you know I can touch it and I'm not gonna mess up the design. Uh, so we're gonna do the actual seat now. Uh, I did not tape up the bottom. I'm going to risk it that it's not gonna get all messy at the bottom. And worst case, if it does, I'll be able to uh, clean it off pretty well. So uh, we are going to, my goal is to have the seat uh, really just resemble water, like the wave. Uh, so I've got all the same colors and we're just gonna get started going randomly. Uh, really doesn't have to be anything uh, too uh, organized. You know, I just want to want all the same colors. I want to be able to do that same sort of Dutch pour blowing stuff around to get the look we want. I do want to be careful not to shoot it all up over there. almost out of this purple, so. bit of white I got we're gonna finish it off with more of the dark blue like we did on the top Come back with the dark blue. I may need to use a bit more because I want to make sure it runs well over the sides. That looks pretty, pretty good so far. Now I could get a hair dryer and just blow it out that way, but then I'm afraid I would splatter it more than I want to. Most people say I'm full of hot air anyway, so I guess there you go. So we're going to 
gonna have to add some color up here because there's not enough. problem I'm seeing is that it's, it's not really really enough to totally cover the sides here so I'm gonna have to probably just add a little bit more to make sure it runs over the sides okay There we go. I did get a little bit on the back, but that's okay. It's still wet, so I can just wipe it off. <clears throat> and even if it dries a little bit, it's because of the material, it'll, it should dry, wipe off pretty good, pretty easy. Um, again, I'm gonna put some here because I want to get these. Make sure I get enough to cover the sides. It'll still drip a little bit as it dries. I'm just gonna help it along. A couple little spots. You can fill those in easy enough. All right, I kind of like that look. And again, anything that happens to drip over the back because there is a bit of it, I'll be able to clean that up after. But I'm not going to do that now. So, I like how that looks. So, the next thing, we'll let this dry. It's going to pretty much take a good portion of the evening to dry. So, tomorrow morning, once it's dry, uh, we will probably let it dry a little bit longer. So I want to make sure that it cures enough. Um, and then we're going to spray it down with the same clear coat that we used on the top and probably seal it with resin. Um, but I doubt that I will do that part on camera. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, so we'll see you once it's dry.
Okay guys, so here is the finished toilet seat. Don't mind the glare from the light above. Uh, I finished this uh, with uh, a few coats of a uh, triple thick clear coat spray. Uh, so there's the, obviously the, the lid. And then the seat is done as well. Uh, I may, I may or may not, I haven't decided. Um, th this will all come out, that's actually dry. So I'll have to do some, a little bit of cleanup. Uh, and I'll show you the bottom in a second, which I have to clean up. But for all intents and purposes, the seat's done. We've got a couple coats of the triple triple thick clear coat on the seat as well. Uh, I may also add a few layers of a polyurethane to it just to give it a little extra durability for, for cleaning. Um, you know, I don't know how whoever ends up with this in their home, I don't know if they'll use it as decoration or if they'll actually use it as a, a functional toilet seat, which it, it can be used that way. Uh, but so I want to make sure that if that is how it is used, that it gets a lot of life out of it after, you know, with the, with the cleaning, with the chemicals and that kind of stuff. So, but there's the seat, there's the lid, uh, later on tonight, I just got to clean up the bottom. It looks pretty messy, but this will all come off really, really easily. It actually scrapes off pretty easily. So I'm just going to grab some, uh, some acetone, some nail polish remover and, and wipe the whole bottom of it down. Uh, so yeah, so there's my painted toilet seat. I hope you like this video. If you could please hit the subscribe button. I'm hoping to post a lot more videos as we go. And yeah, follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram. My website is artguyart.com. So check that out as well. And I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.